Hi you guys, as you can see I already have my makeup on and my hair is already done. Um, I was going to record but I just kind of wanted to do the rest of my face and show you guys how I just do my eyeshadow first and the rest of my face sometimes when I'm just not wanting to go through everything. Um, and just talk, you know, I wanted to up update you guys on my life. Finally finished school. And, um, um, I got two B pluses and a B. Just pretty alright. Um, I feel like I could do a little bit better. But, I'm really bad at writing. But I got 100% on all my finals, which is great. And, um, as you guys know, I haven't really had a good relationship with my biological father. But, that seemed to change. Um, I got back in contact with him. We decided to put everything behind us and try to have a better relationship. Um, and it seems to be going good so far. We've, we've been getting along. We're doing good. <laughs> it's a little difficult on both of us. Uh, especially since we've had some hardships between each other. Um, we had our first phone call on Friday and it went pretty well. It seemed awkward for me. Um, but we did good, you know. We were doing well and getting along. There was no issues. When I first got back in contact with him, he had a lot of questions for me. And I said a lot. It was hard, like, answering all those questions. Um, him finding out I was married, and then him being really upset because he felt like I left him out. You know, him being my father and everything. But I had to explain to him that we weren't in contact we didn't have a good relationship and at least i'm telling him now instead of keeping it a big old secret just being completely truthful you know um i told him i just wanted to be 100 percent honest with him and i was i just I felt like if we were going to have a relationship, there, there should be no secrets. So I was telling him everything that's happened in the past, like, two, three years. About my health, about my living situation, about my new doctors, the new meds I'm on, uh, about my upcoming surgery, just a lot of different things, and... My new interests. And he was listening. Listening to everything, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure it was hard for him to find out that his daughter was now married. And he wasn't invited to the wedding. because nobody was invited, honestly. I'm trying to find the right lipstick to go with this eyeshadow. I don't want to go too dark, you know? Wipe that lip balm off.
That looks cute. Um, yeah, I feel like it's going well. Everything's well. Um, it seems to be a little bit... Sorry. It seems to be a little bit awkward right now, especially since we're trying to get used to everything. Um, but we're doing good, you know? Everything seems to be okay. And now I'm just gonna contour my face. Um, his name's Dwayne. Um, I told him I loved him. It felt weird for me, you know? I haven't said I love you to him in like three years. I do not put foundation on sometimes when I just have a bunch of breakouts. I'll just add some color to my face like this. And the camera that looks really harsh, but in real life it's not. Is this the sparkly? No, that's that's sparkle. I'm trying to find my powder contour. Just don't know which one it is. Oh, there it is. Um. Me and my husband have been doing better. We haven't been fighting as much. I think it's just now that everything is finally settling in. It's getting a little bit easier for us. Um, we finally got in a proper routine. Um, when we both have time, we'll play video games, which is really, really fun. And... I'll smack some of this. Oops. And there. Then I'm trying not to put too much. This can be too much sometimes. When you put really dark contour on your face, you want to be light with the brush. Just because it can go on too harshly if you're too rough with it. And you want to try to put as little bit as possible on the brush. Because if you need a darker tone, you can build up. I like to put some on my cheeks just so it blends in with my brush. Blush better. And then... Do a little bit on my chin. Like that. And then we're going to take a small brush once I find it. I think this is the one I use. Take a little bit on the brush. Like this. As you can tell, it's really, really dark for me. Like, actually, the camera can't tell, but it's really dark on my face. That's because I go in and I put powder over it. God damn it. I can never do the right, left side of my face. See, now it's finally showing. And that's because I was too heavy with it. Blend it out into the brow, just a little bit, and then I go on my finger with the darker side, and I just rub that in, just a little bit. I 
do a little button nose. See how it looks a little bit smaller? Except this side looks a little uneven now. And then go like this so it just looks more even. My nose looks really fat like this so and then I go right here and I blend out more. You know, like that. So it you see how different that looks on camera? It looks a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the other side. And now, we're going to grab, I'm going to put this brush away, grab my blush, I'm going to do this little charcoal-y, like, this shade that's really shimmery. I dab it on. I don't try to put too much. I dab it on. You guys can't really. This light sucks. It's just too bright. So I look white to you guys. I don't look like I'm putting any color. But I'm not going to put too much because I'm going to take pictures. So I don't want to look like a clown. I put some right here. See, this is why I don't like putting foundation on sometimes because it'll mess up. I gotta fix it weirdly. And then I'm gonna grab this. Highlight the bridge of my nose. And right here. And a little bit right here. Alright. And Where's my little sponge? Grab my little sponge right here. Dry. Just do that. Dab it in. And be careful. Yes, and I carry it all the way up. like that. I know that looks weird. And then I'm going to take the same sponge I'm going to grab my Jeffree Star baking powder. Setting powder I mean. And just put a little bit in the pan. Like that. And just right against this right here. Make that line, you know. And then Rub. Where's my color? Blend this out. My face is a little too white. Blend this out. My face is really white, and I don't get that. On the side of it, just like this. And then I'm gonna grab my highlight. I have 
two favorites right now. I love the Jeffree Star one and this um, Ofra one. And right now I want a white sheen, you know? I'm going to put my baking I use this brush because I can fan it out, you know? Use my Ofra. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hate this light. I'm going to put a lot on the brush. You'll be able to see it on my nose. Like, look how shiny that is. Oof. Some on my forehead. Oh, look at how shiny that is. My lip. And then I grabbed some of this called Wet Dream. And I like to put it right here. See how shiny that got? That's right there. And we're going to put all this stuff away. And thank you guys for watching and suffering through 17 minutes of a video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And a great week. Bye.